Angelo Belsuto in this case, has the option to take the run. We'll try it again. Martin, Belsuto, get ready to wind up off of four. They hit the box, they hit the gas, we're underway as Belsito tries to put the 48 to the top of the leaderboard. Tom Scully Jr. is out of the inside. He gets a run. Martin gets kicked up to the outside. We want to move that contact between Belsito and Scully. Belsito off the base. He's able to corral it together. Everyone bumping into each other. Martin gets contact. He's able to save it on a two. Dave Collins saying, you guys have that, and I'll settle it in back here and wait for you guys to figure it out up front. Aggressiveness at the top of the field. Scully sets the pace down to turn number one. Brightman up for second. Belsito working the outside into three. Scully and Brightman battling for the lead as Vanessa and Belsito battle for that third position. Brightman now with a run underneath the two of Scully as they race down the back. Brightman looks for the lead in three. Down off of turn number four. Scully tries to sh shut the door on the 11, but Vanessa's already there. Belsito dives it out of the inside. They play single file down low. Scully caught up top down the back stretch. Down into three they go. It's Brightman leading the way over Vanessa and Scully who are battling for second currently. Well, 11 of Vanessa is your leader in the Triple Crown. Just five laps in, a long way to go for sure, but Vanessa putting himself in a good position here, running in second out of four. Off of turn number four and across the stripe. Mike Brightman trying to pick up his second win of the season. He and Vanessa pull away from Scully just a little bit, while deeper in the pack, Kevin Casper and Dylan Estrella battle for position. Down through one and two they go. Brightman leads the way on Vanessa. It's a race down the back. Vanessa gets a nose under Brightman. A little bit of contact there. He's able to back off though as Brightman shuts the door. They race across the stripe. Brian Vanessa giving Mike Brightman all he can handle right now as they race out of two. Down the back stretch they go. Nose to tail and Vanessa tries the outside. They roll off of turn number four. He settles it in. Tries to get the momentum. Meanwhile, battle for fifth. Dylan Estrella down to the inside of Freddie Estrella. They come off of turn number two, side by side. The Everett's Auto Parts car battling for that fifth position and laying in wait behind him is Dave Darling in the 52. He's underneath Estelle following Estrella on that bottom lane as they race through one and two. Darling hits the berm a little bit, loses some momentum. Now he pulls up alongside Estelle through three and four. Dylan Cabral heading pit side and Darling makes his name known up into the sixth position. Kevin Casper trying to follow him through down the back stretch up front. Brightman continues to set the pace with Vanessa still taking a look to the outside. Watch him try the crossover off of turn number two. Takes a look to Brightman is able to keep that car low enough where Vanessa can't get the run. Out of turn number four, single file throughout the field now. Ryan Vanessa trying to change that. He wants to make the pass on Mike Brightman but he can't get the run he wants. Brightman's holding that bottom very well. Not enough room given up for Vanessa to make the pass. Vanessa can't make it on the outside. As they race down into one and two, he closes on that bumper down the back. Problem on the Everett Tunnel Patch number 46. Sparks coming from the right rear of that Chevrolet. That's gonna be a problem for Estrella. Something dragging around the third mile. And Darling wants to get in front of him before something bad happens. Darling to the inside of Estrella as Sparks still fly off the corner. He comes. Black flag given to Dylan to Estrella as something is certainly broken on the 46. Darling makes that pass to move up into the fifth spot. And now the top five are nose to bumpers. They race off of four. Black flag out for Estrella again as he heads down into turn number one. Up front, Brightman continues to lead the charge across the stripe and down into three and four with Vanessa in tow. They come off the corner, coming off of turn number two, the one. And back out onto the racetrack before the season ends. Three cars, three different divisions, and talk about a proud papa when he gets to watch the most. Green flag unfurls one more time. Brightman and Vanessa lead the charge. Down it to turn number one. They come off the corner. Vanessa with a little bit of an edge. Down it to turn number three. Ryan Vanessa has the speed, and he's been trying to get by Brightman all night long, but Brightman's been holding top as they're side by side down through one and two. Vanessa with a good edge again off the second turn, but Brightman holding that lead into three. A virtual dead heat that last time across the stripe as they come off of turn number four. Down to the stripe. Vanessa keeps his number 11 at the top of the leaderboard as Brightman gets sideways off of turn number two. 
Darling, Belcito, Casper, and Pellin, your top six. Off of four they come. Vaness gets the jump and leads it down into turn number one. Side by side through the corner, out of turn number two they come. Ryan Vaness leads the way, Dave Darling now underneath the two of Scully as they race side by side. Your top three cars all in the running for the Triple Crown. Okay. They race into the corner, Darling to second. Darling up into the number two spot, chasing down the 11, and look at the closing rate on that yellow, orange, and black number 52. Vanessa throws it in hard, deep off the corner, slides up the racetrack, just traps the inside lane, Darling takes advantage and looks for the lead down the back straightaway. 43 laps to go this time by Vaness. Falls back into second and will let this race run out. He doesn't want to make an aggressive move with 43 to go. He's going to try to stay with the 52 all the way long and make that move at the end. Move Darling out front with 43, making 42 laps remaining and starts to pull away from the rest of the field as they can only watch the six-time champion, the current points leader, pull away from the rest of the field. Single pile now throughout the pack until we reach about 10th on the field. That's Mike Brightman making a pass on Daryl Stample. He'll move up a spot and try to begin that run back to the front where he just was. Tom Scully on a good run, sitting in that third spot, a car length and a half ahead of the 88 of Kevin Casper. As Kevin had a good run in the early going, seems to have settled it in with Belsito running out the top five. Dylan Estrella up to sixth now. Closes in on Belsito, takes a look down low. Belsito shuts the door down to three. Darling crosses another lap led off the board. He's opening up that gap. About two car lengths in front of Ryan Vanessa, but Vanessa staying with the 52 the best he can here, holding him within reach. Vaness has a fast number 11 tonight, and he has 37 laps to make the move on Darling. Down the back straight away they go, and a little bit more breathing room between Darling and everyone else. Vaness. Solid in that number two spot, but the right now the big battle is for that fifth position. Dylan Estrella knocking on the door of the 48 down at the turn number three. Tries to get a run, tries to cross over, but Balsito strong enough to keep him at bay. Couple pairs of racing there, Balsito and Estrella in right in front. Kevin Casper putting pressure on the two of Scully as they race off the turn number four. Scully sits in third right now, third in the Triple Crown as well. But Casper giving him pressure all around the track as Estrella looks to make the move on Belsito. Belsito gets caught up on the outside as Dylan Estrella slides in down low. They race side by side down into turn number one. Dylan Estrella trying to make up lost time in the other total parts, 46. Get to one down low, well down into turn number three. Off the corner they come, Dylan Estrella will lead another lap and they race down into one and two, excuse me, take that position away. As Bobby Pellin smoke, he is around. Down into turn number three, can Vanessa get that start to jump past the 52? They roll out of turn number four on the throttle. Green flag in the air, Vanessa with a good jump there. Down into turn number one, he has the edge out of two, but Darling quickly pulls up alongside of him. They're side by side, down into three. Ryan Vanessa continues to hang tight on the outside, but off the four, Darling is just too strong. The 46 of Estrella down underneath the 88 of Kevin Casper, and here comes Mike Brightman once again, looking to get back up inside the top five. Currently your top four are all racing for the Phil's Propane Triple Crown. Trouble off of four, Bobby Pellin goes around again. Field rolls down the back. It's Vanessa and Darling, Scully and Estrella, your top two rows. They roll out of turn number four. On the throttle, green flag in the air with 30 laps to go. Dave Darling wins that restart down into the corner. Vanessa trying to hang on. He's not going to be able to. Darling clears. Vanessa drops to the bottom to challenge from there. Dylan Estrella climbing the ladder, battling with Tom Scully, Jr. down across the stroke. Trouble to the hard hitting the wall. This is Davey of number four. Darling and Vanessa, one and two. They wind it up off the corner. Tim Bulldog moves the green flag. Darling gets a half a car length jump, heading down to turn number one. 11 of Vanessa tries to stay with him there. He's gonna fall behind him again here. Down on the bottom, look for a crossover, but he sticks up high again. See if he can get that high lane to work. It's a battle between 
Scully and Estrella goes on for that third spot. Vanessa runs behind Darling about a car length back into three. Off the corner they come and Scully with a half a car length advantage with Bowman now. Trying to fill in the hole down the inside. He's got Belsino and Casper in tow off of turn number two. Darling now starting to pull away about two car lengths ahead of the 11 of Vanessa as they race off of turn number four and across the stripe. Down into one, 26 laps to go for your leader, Dave Darling. As Daryl Stample slows up, he's gonna take it behind the wall. Off of turn number four. Brightman down to the inside of Estrella. Scully has a little bit of breathing room down into turn number one. As Estrella slides back just a little bit more, unable to get the outside lane to work in his favor. That allows Brightman to get down low. David Darling off of turn number two. Three car lengths over Vanessa, but he's sticking with him, who opened up a four car length lead over third place Tom Scully, who's sitting just in front of the big time battle here. Mike Brightman, Dylan Estrella have been side by side still. Estrella has the edge on outside lane, but Brightman powering that 27 on the bottom through three and four. Mike is having a good of a season as he is having a while on the post stocks. He's got one feature win, several top fives here this year. Battling for fourth to the inside of Dylan Estrella, down to turn number three. Off the corner they come. Brightman pulls up even with the 46 as they race down into three and four. Still on the rear bumper of Scully. Scully can't seem to get rid of him as they race into three. Off of turn number four, Brightman and Estrella make a little bit of contact. They race up the racetrack as the 48 of Belsito slides in underneath, trying to get up and back into the top five. Down to three and four they go. Down through the corner, Estrella's dropping back as Belsito still challenging across the stripe and into one. Belsito to the bottom of Estrella, looking for that fifth spot as Scully now has opened up a gap over Brightman, pulling away out of four. Dave Howling cruising along here on a Saturday night, punctuating, closing in on a track tying seventh championship in the pro stocks. The only other driver to have seven is Joey DiGasparri Jr. Darling looking to join him and cement his place in Seacock Speedway Roar. They race out of turn number two, and Darling is approaching the 78 of our car. They're gonna put him a lap down as they come off of turn number four. Ryan Vaness is comfortably in between Darling and Scully. Now comfortably on the track, but not probably in his mind as he wants to catch that 52, and he's doing everything he can as he approaches the 78 of our car as well. Flawless is what you can call the season in the last 15 years of Dave Darling's racing career. This is a hobby for him. But like all racers, there is a passion that needs to go along with it. David hasn't lost the passion at all. Matter of fact, he thrives on it. And continues the success in business and here as Brayman gets a little crossed up off of turn number four, Estrella to the outside, there off of turn two. Down the back they go into turn number three, Brayman and Estrella back at it again, battling side by side across the stripe. Estrella gets a nose that time. Brightman still trying to hold on. He does out of two. They're still side by side, but Estrella with the advantage into three looks to clear on the outside. Ten laps to go that time across the stripe, and Estrella continues to work that top lane down into three and four. Edges out and is able to shut the door. Meanwhile, Casper goes for a slide down into turn number three. On for ten more laps. As we get ready to roll off of turn number four, Tim Bulldock lets him loose. Darling with the jump one more time. Down into the corner they go. It is Darling clearing Vanessa once again down the back. Vaness powers into the corner to attempt to clear Scully. He's going to ride up a little too high, though, off turn number four. That opens the door for Scully down into one. Brightman down to the inside of Estrella in the battle. Four cars battling for that number two, three, four, and five positions into turn number three. Vaness up top, Scully down low. Tom's got the advantage at the stripe that time across. Down into the corner they go. Scully looks to clear Vaness, and he does off the back now. Sets his eyes on the 52 of Dave Darling as they're all behind Scully here side by side. Brightman and Estrella still down into one. 
Tom has a hard task ahead of him and trying to close in on the number 52. Darling smooth off of turn number four. Picks up one more lap, six to go that time across the stripe. Down into the corner, Darling has opened up. Almost a 10 car length lead over second place Scully. Scully's been fast, but not fast enough right now as Ryan Vaness is all over his rear bumper. Vaness wants second back. He thinks he can get around Scully with all the pressure he's putting on him as they race down into three. Kevin Casper down underneath Bobby Pellin in the battle for six, down into three and four. Give the advantage to the first propane number 88 as he sets his sights on the five cars ahead of him. Belsito run up on the tail there as they hit turn number three. Three to go this time by. Down through three and four. Ryan Vanesh crosses another flag off, another lap off the board in that third position, trying to hold off Dylan Estrella, who has been haunting him on that rear bumper as Scully's pulled away in second. They cross another lap off. Two to go for Darling. Two more seconds to go, and Neil Garling picks his mark, hits his mark, and thunders off of turn number four, picks up the white flag. Final time down off of turn number two and continues to dominate here tonight. Checkered flag is out. The Estrella down underneath the mess. Darling takes the win. Scully for second. Estrella will finish third. So, yeah, I mean, we definitely had a good car all day. Um, it's tough when the ping pong balls come to the back and kind of just wreck it for you. But it is what it is. That's racing, you know. Uh, we just got to rebuild it, come back even better next week or the week after because we have next week off. Uh, Hopefully we can get another win before the end of the season. I really wanted this triple crown bad, but I mean, it just wasn't in our favor tonight. What was it that was dragging that caused you to have to pit? I believe it was the exhaust. I mean, it wasn't falling off. I was kind of, I didn't even realize what was going on there. I saw my number on the board and I was a little confused. Nothing came off, but I mean, I totally get it. I'm definitely glad that caution came out. It saved us. So whoever you were, thank you. Well, a lot of hard work for tonight in and out of the pits. I know you got some people to thank. Yeah, I want to give a big thank you to Roy and Bob, Everett's Auto Parts, Everett's Tire Center, Jane R. Precast, my whole crew, uh, Phil, Phil's Propane for putting on this series. I mean, it's one of those things that I've, I've had one, and it's, it's an awesome series. I love the extra distance. You know, it's not one of those races you got to try and dart to the front. You get to take your time, be patient, and I feel like I'm a pretty patient driver here and there, so it kind of works to my advantage sometimes. It's been better for you week after week, getting closer to that first win of the season. Yeah, we're trying. Uh... Probably wasn't really a second place car, but maybe a third or fourth place car, but luckily leaning there at the end there, at least reached out. I was third, so I'll take it. A lot of hard work in 2019 to get you back up to the podium on a regular basis. Yeah, I mean, it, it, you got the experience. That's what kind of keeps us there, so we're kind of like driving off that right now. We're trying to get some speed here. It just seems like we try something, and it just hurts the other end of, end of the track, and so we're, we're getting close. I know you got some people to thank. Yeah, I'd like to thank my dad. Uh, Hedges, South Coast Equipment, Raps Auto Parts, Triple Crown, uh, Phil's Propane. Thanks for having us again. I mean, I tried, tried to get it again. Um, Seekong Speedway for uh, putting up with us. <laughs> it opened. Yeah, I mean, I can't say enough for the crew. The car was, uh, it was absolutely perfect. Um, the weather changed. We unloaded. We needed to make some adjustments. And, you know, Jeff and those guys, they know exactly what to do. So, I mean, um, you know, it's... You know, you can be the best driver in the world, but you need a great car, you need a great crew, it's a t team effort, so, um, you know, sometimes I'm not the best driver, but I got a great car. Opening laps, you fell back as things were ping-ponging in front of you. Looks like you were going to let them settle it out before you started making some moves. Yeah, it's a long race. You have 65 laps, so there's no reason to put your car where it doesn't belong early on, and, uh, you know, three wide, things like that. You just don't need to do it, so... Starting back there, let things shuffle out. Hopefully, we get a good run going and then, uh, you know, pick up spots as we can. So, 2019 Phil's Propane Triple Crown Champion has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Yeah, we won these uh, a few years ago. I haven't won it in a little while, the, the Triple Crown. Uh, I got to thank Phil's for everything he does with the Speedway and uh, been a longtime sponsor here for the last decade or so. And, uh, you know, it's great to see a local companies and, and uh, all he does for the track and arm full of trophies and all that. So, you know, I can't uh, thank him enough. I know the kids had a blast today uh, getting yo-yos and bags from uh, the Phil's truck up there. So, you know, Everett's and Phil's, Tomasi Law Associates, Helgers, South Coast, and all the, all the you know, all the sponsors that sponsor the track. I think Bristol Toyota Scion, Papa John's, Johnson Landscaping, Seacock Grand Prix Columbus Oil. 
uh, my family for coming out, Diane for supporting it, the fans on parade, that was her win last week, so, uh, you know, because I've never done it, and she was all over it, and my kids helped support, and we went and walked the track, and they had a great time.